I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. Excuse me, this your boy Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on our video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you have a breakdown or a prediction that you'd like me to do for you, reach out to me on my email address, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is my email address. And don't forget to check out our live shows. I go live every Wednesday night and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And I also go live every Sunday morning with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, 9 a.m. Sunday mornings to recap all the great action that we have in boxing over the weekend. But let's go ahead and get it popping and get into this particular video. And today, we got to talk about Devin Haney. What will it take for Devin Haney to impress you this weekend? Devin Haney will be defending his undisputed... Um, title, his undisputed lightweight titles against George Cambosos in his contractually obligated rematch, and it got me to thinking, because a lot of diehard boxing fans um, always have that argument of this fighter's boring, that fighter's boring, what makes a star in boxing, what can this fighter do to elevate him or herself, and things of that nature, and so it got me to thinking, as Devin Haney um, gets ready to fight Cambosos, what can he do to impress fight fans? What can he imp do to impress you that's watching this video? What can he do to impress me? Um, and so let's, let's kind of break it down and, and talk about it. Now, we'll do our official pick for this fight on Thursday night, as we do every week. We, we predict the upcoming fights. Got a great prediction record, so y'all be sure to tune into the show on Thursday. We'll have, a, um, we'll have a, our fight prediction, then we'll follow that up with a great debate that we'll have um, on tap for you guys. Now, for Devin, for Devin the Dream Haney, um, what he has to do to impress. See, Devin Haney is not a boring fighter to me, but he also does leave a lot of meat on the bone in some of his fights. Um, and what I mean by that is that Devin Haney, he's a superior boxer. He is a, a, a very good boxer, a very good controller of distance, uses his length at the lightweight division to his, to his, advantage, to his advantage very, very well, has a very nice jab. Um, but other than that, the inside game, not really there, if you ask me to be honest with you. Um, the power, obviously, is average at best. So, a fighter like that, what can he do to kind of up his game? He already beat George Cambosos by decision um, in their previous fight. What can he do to up his game? What can he do to take that next step in stardom? What can he do to make himself an even bigger name than he already is? Because talking trash... Um, you know, calling out everybody, the self-proclaimed boogeyman that he claims to be, um, even certain accolades only get you so far. At some point, what you do in the ring, how you perform on fight night, those are the things that you're remembered the most for. And right now, honestly, Devin Haney is known for, and it's no issue, very effective. He wins all his fights, rarely loses rounds, but right now he's a jab distance fighter, maybe throw a right hand behind the jab. If you get too close of him, he don't want to fight inside, he's going to clinch you. And he's going to let the ref come break y'all up to put y'all back at a distance where he's much more comfortable, where he's much more superior than everyone that he's been in the ring with thus far. But those types of fights lend themselves to not being as entertaining as they perhaps could be. So in George Cambosos, he just peppered Cambosos with a jab, outpointed him, outpointed him. Sometimes you saw the right hand come behind the jab, jab right hand, jab right hand, lead right hand, jab. Oh, you too close, grab. You know what I mean? Just something that for me, I watch it all day, and I have no issue with it because I love the sport of boxing. But if Devin Haney is looking to take that next step, if he is looking to really um, make a statement, I don't think that he has to stop George Cambosos, but he does have to be more aggressive. He does have to look to counterpunch George Cambosos coming in more. He does need to throw more than just one or two punches at a time. That left hook needs to come behind that right hand. That right hand lead needs to be on point. You know, the jab needs to be thrown with much more ferocity, much more viciousness. And if he gets the stoppage, he gets the stoppage. Not stepping outside of himself, because he should not care what anybody thinks. He should fight in his style. 
he should not go in there and all of a sudden try to show that he can fight on the inside. Because that's not the type of fighter that he is. He should still keep the fight at a distance. He should still work behind his jab. But he should work behind his jab in an aggressive way and look to try to land a hard, stiff right hand. Lead with his right hand sometimes. Look to counter with that nice little roll counter uppercut that he got from Cambosos coming in. Look to counter with the nice pull counter that he that he that he um, has when Cambosos lunges in over his front foot and gets out of position like Cambosos has been prone to do. So there are some things that Devin Haney can do to put on an even better performance than he put on last time. And I know you're saying, well, knockout shit, bro. Like he won damn near every round in a lot of people's opinion. In my opinion, I gave Devin Haney every round of that fight except for the 12th round. And I thought the only reason I didn't give him the 12th round was because he took his, his foot off the gas and Cambosos was more aggressive and Devin Haney just didn't do enough offensively in the 12th round, in my opinion. But it was a clear washing for him. So how can you knock out be asking for improvement um, in, in order to, to, to say that Devin Haney has made a statement? Well, because of who he's fighting. He's already proven to everyone in the boxing world that he is a far superior fighter to George Cambosos. He's faster, he's longer, he got better boxing skills. George Cambosos couldn't do anything with him in their first fight. Guys like that, now that you've proven it, come in the second fight, you got to do even better. You got to be even more dominant. You got to land your jab even more. You got to you got to you got to be more aggressive with them with them with them right hands even more. You got to do that even more. To show, to show that you really are what all of your fans say that you are. Because if you are, that means that your ring IQ is high. If you are what your fans say that you are, that means that fighting someone a second time, you are going to be even better because now you understand their distance. Now you understand their skill set. Now you've been in the ring with them and you understand their speed. And you know what you can and can't do because that's what I am told. I agree with it to a certain extent, but huge Devin Haney supporters always talk to me about how high they believe his ring IQ to be. They always talk to me about how great they think he is in making adjustments and outboxing people. So if that's the case, if that's the case, then cool. This is your second time fighting this guy. You've already fought 12 rounds with him. Therefore, you should be able to go in there and you should know what he bringing to the table and you should be able to go in there and pick him apart even more. But one key mistake I don't want Devin Haney to make, don't go in there and all of a sudden you try to be Javante Tank Davis. Don't go in there and all of a sudden you try to be Eastside Pitbull Cruz. Don't go in there looking to land haymakers. Don't go in there looking for power. Go in there and box. Try to catch him with shots that he don't see. If you buzz him, you buzz him. If you hurt him, you hurt him. But just put on one of those, those performances where you show that you're even more superior to him than you were in the first fight, and to me, that will impress me. If you're asking Devin Haney for a stoppage, then you're probably one of those people that will never be impressed with anything that he does. Because if you're being real and realistic, you would know that Devin Haney is not a power puncher. But I do want to see him let his hands go more. I don't want to see him jab, 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 clinch. Jab, 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 clinch. Jab, jab, right hand, clinch. I don't want to see that. I want to see him jab, right hand. Back step, lead right hand, roll, uppercut, pull, counter, jab, jab. Like I, I want to see him putting in that work on Saturday night, bro. I really do, and I believe that he has the skills and the tools to do so against somebody like George Camboso because he, he's way faster than him. His feet are way quicker. George Camboso had no clue. He had no clue in their first fight how to close the distance. None whatsoever. So there's a lot of things that Devin Haney can do to put on an even better performance. And so, to me, that's what will be impressive. If this fight looks like the second, the first fight, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I won't be impressed, bro. If this second fight with George Cambosos looks anything like the first fight, I won't be impressed. If I see more of Devin Haney throwing 20 to 25 jabs, 8 to 10 power punches per round for a total of like 40 punches. He landing like 6, 7 jabs around, 3 or 4 power punches per round. I'm not going to be impressed, bro. I need him to try to turn up a little bit more. Go to that next level. Go to that next level. And then that will be something that we can say is impressive. 
Is this the fight that we all wanted? No, nah, but this is the fight that we knew we were going to get. And if you're Devin Haney, you go out here and you make an example out of George Camboso. You make an example out of him on Saturday night. So we'll see what happens, man. I, I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm looking forward to October 15th. I mean, we got three fire cards all going off at staggered times. So hopefully um, we can get to watch all three of them. If not, I'll have my laptop up and I'll have the TV up. I'm going to find a way to watch all the fights. Believe that. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What would impress you with Devin Haney and George Camboso? If Devin Haney is to win, what would make it impressive to you? That's the question that we attempted to answer, and that's the question that I want you guys to answer in the comment section. So please, comment down below, smash my like button, subscribe to the channel, um, and go follow me on Twitter as well, at KOBoxing86TV. And if you got a prediction or a, a breakdown for a fight that you'd like me to do for you, Please reach out to my email, knockoutboxing 8060 yahoocom And don't forget about our live shows. I'm live every Wednesday night and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But um, I appreciate y'all watching. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we up out of here. Peace out, y'all.